Alright, this is the cotangent, and you're going to see um, some similarities in that. So recall that the cotangent is the cosine over the sine. It's also the reciprocal of the tangent function. Okay. So again, I've got my decimal chart here, and um, let's first look like we did for the tangent. Let me make this a different color. Let's first identify the asymptotes. So that occurs where the function is undefined. There's our cotangent. And the function is undefined at negative pi. So there's an asymptote. It's undefined at 0. So there's an asymptote. Oh, dotted lines are always our asymptotes. And at positive pi. So there's another asymptote. And on this graph it shows it again at 2 pi. So there's the asymptotes. That means the function is, is undefined at that place. It also means the graph approaches it. The next thing we want to do is identify our x-intercepts. So x, oh boy, try that again. At least my pen's working somewhat better. Intercepts. Okay, so that occurs at 0. So at negative pi over 2, there's an x-intercept, and pi over 2, there's an x-intercept, and then they occur uh, at intervals of pi's over 2, there's another one. And then you could um, also do what we did for tangent, is examine these decimals. You'll see that they are reciprocals of the tangent. So when we create our cotangent function, it swings the other way. Okay. So in this particular graph I'm showing three cycles or three periods. The period of the cotangent is pi. Um, and just like we showed or I showed on the tangent is I can have a cycle that goes from negative pi over 2 to positive pi over 2, that's also a cycle. Um, and you're getting, when you do that, you get the bottom half of this piece and the top half of that piece. But that's still a cycle because then that starts repeating. So don't just feel like a cycle or a period um, has to contain, you know, has to go from asymptote to asymptote. It can go from x-intercept to x-intercept. So there's a brief introduction to the graph of the cotangent.